So what is an interactive film? It's a, a, instead of a normal film, which is one sequence of events, an interactive film is the one that you have multiple sequences. So you have, in this case, you will have a story that's segmented in th uh, nine different segments, and you will have three segments where you can make a choice. You will have a choice of uh, uh, choosing the clothes, the drinks that they're going to have, and the music that they're going to listen to. This is about a story about this girl that's trying to remember what happened last night, in a date last night. So this three different um, choices that you will get it will make different outcomes on the story. So as you see here, it, we have, it looks like a puzzle, so a slider puzzle. So you, you can move these tiles up and down to make the different choices. In this case, this the, the drinks, the clothes, and the music. And this represents the timeline, so the nine different segments. Hi, Nick. Hey. Oh, you're dressed up. You, you look great. And I can change that same scene by changing the clothes that you will use. And you will see the outcome will be different in terms of how the date will greet her. He doesn't look la that excited. And you will see that <laughs> changing the clothes, that's a past <laughs> choice, you can see out actually the outcome of this. So it's like, a, it's like a game. One of the things that we wanted to accomplish here is that this is not only an explorer of, of a film, but you can actually uh, uh, get this application more like a game. That's why we create this puzzle slider. So actually, you start playing with the application in order to, what happen if I put a different cloth or change the drink? So depending on that, you can see a different outcome. So you can start seeing and, and replaying the same scene over and over depending on what are the combination that you have. Um, and it gets more complex when you have more combinations, of course. Um, and we have figured out that in order to have this separate from the screen, it gives you the idea that you're watching this in a one sequence. But actually, it's a thing that you control. So when, whenever you are in any scene, you can change any of the variables and it will adapt what is going on on that specific scene. Of course, this has um, uh, a lot of potential on anything that has a different outcomes depending on different variables. So for education, we see a lot of uh, outcomes of this. And what if scenarios? So one of the things in terms of that, um, having this that is multivariable, it's not only that one, uh, one decision will just change one, one outcome, it's changing one decision in the past, we can change also things in the future.